Okay, collect our fish. what sort of things we have. I think I'll go for Slugger. I think that'd be alright. Hmm. I didn't get it. I'm not sure what I'm going to use next. You know, maybe I should wait to have specialists to use this. I was thinking of just doing like a full-on bombing run with the long sword. I know many of you are going to complain saying that I should use less bombs. Well, I just don't know what to say to that. I actually don't need all these combo books because I have bomb strength up. Maybe I'll actually sw I mean, I, I set this up specifically so I needed that one extra slot. But maybe I'll try and do some paralysis bombing. Just want to make sure you can go through your various sets and as long as they all look like they're okay. Like I notice I need two extra scatterfish. You'll be good to go. Okay, let's give this a shot. Of course, this would also benefit an awful lot from having specialist, but that's okay. Let me just show show what I have. It's just trap, uh, trap master, bombardier, and attack up medium. I couldn't really fit in the one last expert jewel needed. We'll just see how effective this is. And so for the most part, you, you really have to be treating these status weapons as weapons of opportunity. In that, you know, for the vast majority of the fight, the damage is going to be a lot less. However, once you finally get the 10 seconds of paralysis or whatever off, that damage that you do there, you can kind of add to your average damage over the match. I'm not sure if that makes a lot of sense. But certainly when you do sleep bombing and you're shooting sleep shots, especially from a bow gun, you're doing no damage at all from the shots alone. You're just really hoping that a placement of bombs and the subsequent bomb uh, sleep bomb multiplier will help make up for the fact that you hadn't been doing damage earlier. Okay, he's going to ignore us for a little while anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and take this chance to kind of do some damage on the Tours and build up my Spirit Gauge. I don't have focus on this set, so it's kind of nice to have. I'm hoping this timing will be just right. There we go. So I'm at white. And so this way I should be able to get up to yellow fairly easily. A really nice bombing right in the beginning. I like that. It makes me pretty happy. And for the most part, you'll always want to have your sonic bombs selected. Okay, he's in rage mode now, but if he had started to dig rather than shoot that laser, hopefully I would have been able to actually get a sonic bombing off. Let's 
see we're at yellow sharpness. That's pretty decent. Or yellow sharpness. Yellow focus. <laughs> yellow spirit. That's right. Yellow spirit. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, I hate it. I hate it when I waste potions like that. That's okay. Alright, so he's basically in armor mode again. Nope, not anymore. Oh, man. <laughs> Actually broke his face right away. And of course, the important thing with this strategy is you want to be continually making your bombs. There we go. Uh-oh. Got body slammed. He's angry. You just get, like, no time to even put your weapon away. Oh, no, no. No. Oh, I got really lucky that time. <laughs> oh. Alright, so he's paralyzed and my weapon is dull. So we're going to go ahead and get him with bombs. Oh, no. The Eructor set the bombs off, or set me off. Well, that's a shame. I just had that whole big uh, discussion at the beginning about how you really want to take advantage of any status opportunities. Well, it didn't really prove it at all. Yeah, minions can sometimes just change the fight entirely. I mean, anyone that's gotten repeatedly stun-locked by Bolfongo or Rhinopolis or what have you certainly knows what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and take a little break over in this other area here. He's probably going to run, run to Area 5 fairly soon anyways. And if not, we can always just run back into the zone. Let's see what he wants to do. And it's just like so frustrating when he is in that armor mode. There's like nothing you can do. I think I've gotten hit by him like almost every single time. It's not very skilled play. <laughs> There we go. Can evade through some things. Oh wow, he actually went to area eight right away. Hmm, okay. No, he will do that. Actually, put a shock trap down, get another.
And I'm actually out of small peril bombs. I wonder what I'm going to do now. I think Cha-Cha got angry and hit him with a dung bomb just now. That was awesome. Good job, Cha-Cha. I actually like that he makes you tremor because like there's not really many monsters in the game that actually have an attack that will stun you like that. Or at least not enough. Go for that one last hit anyways. Let's see if he can give us a chance to... Oh, he's ready to be captured. Perfect! Okay, come on. <laughs> yes. Okay. So... Oh, man, what was his name? I think it was Gookie Guy. And I'm very sorry if I get the credits wrong. But somebody was awesome enough to actually do an analysis of my various times for weapons. And the quick analysis of it seemed to seem that the fastest times are the times where I used bombs the most. Now, this time through, I used seven, nine large barrel bomb pluses. And using a somewhat underpowered weapon, I took him out faster than basically any of my other times. So, yeah. It's about accurate. <laughs> that is a lot of rewards. Oh, man. Can't get enough advanced armor spheres. Those things are so... Oh, a claw. See, that was from Capture. No, oh, hey! That could be helpful. Plus four critical draw, plus one slot. Hmm. 